So here's a basic sock that I've got here knitted in different colors so that you can see all the parts. And we're going to be working on socks from the cuff down. So we're going to start at the top of the sock with the cuff. And then we have, obviously, the leg of a sock. We come down and we have a heel that most of the time is made in two parts. So we've got a flap of the heel and then what's called a heel turn where we go around the corner. Then we have the instep and foot of the sock and we end with the toe. So let's take a look at this um, in a drawing and see how those parts fit together conceptually. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the parts of a sock. Again, starting working from the cuff down, we'll begin with a cuff. And usually a cuff of a sock is made in some kind of ribbed pattern that gives it extra elasticity even more than the rest of the sock. The cuff can be as little as maybe a half an inch to an inch or as long as three to four inches long enough to fold down. In fact, the cuff that folds down is a really good idea if you're making socks for a gift because then the person can adjust the total length of the sock to their preference by folding down the cuff. So that's the first part we knit after we cast on and just in a simple ribbing stitch most of the time. Then we have the leg of the sock. We start knitting the leg just after the cuff and we change usually to another pattern that's more decorative or sometimes to plain stockinette stitch or we can stay in the same ribbing stitch that we used on the cuff to have that pattern going all the way down the leg in a smooth line. So that's one of the choices that you have to make as you're going down and knitting your sock. So, so far, pretty simple. We've just knit straight in the tube. We may increase a little bit right here between the cuff and the leg if we have a different pattern stitch in the bottom and the top. So, for example, if we have ribbing up here and then we have um, a cable pattern down here, we would increase because the cable pattern would pull in more than the ribbing, so we would change the number of stitches. Sometimes you also change colors between the cuff and the leg of the sock, so just different things to think about as you're working on your socks.